Okay, you're in Microsoft Excel and you want to use the filter function to return duplicates. So we're going to start with the count ifs function. And what you have to do for each column is this. Your criteria range is the column, comma, and then your criteria for that column is the same column. Now, if I close the bracket and press enter, you can see there that it's counting how many times each of these areas appears in this column. So for example, south is the only one that appears once. Now we only want to count it as a duplicate if the area and department combination are duplicated. So what we do, because we have a second column, is we use criteria range two. So our criteria range two is the second column, comma, and the criteria for that column is that column and so on and so forth if you had a third or fourth column you keep going through these optional arguments now if I press enter you can see now that it's returned a lot more ones where for example Western training that combination only appears once but Southwest and sales appears once and then twice so that's a duplicate for our filter function we need this to return a logical test now our logical test is going to be does the result of the count ifs function return a value that is greater than one. So if I press enter, I get my trues and my falses. Then I can put this within the filter function. My array is the array of values that I want to filter. So that's going to be this range of cells here, comma. In the include argument, that's where we're using this logical test, comma. And if you wanted to, you could use the if empty argument to specify no duplicates if no duplicates were found. So if I close the bracket and press enter, those are the duplicates. Now it might be useful to sort these columns by area and by department, and we can do that using the sort function. So our array is returned by the filter function. And I want to sort by both columns one and two. Now I'll start off by just sorting by column one. If I close the bracket and press enter. So that sorts the area column. But what would be quite nice is if we also sort it by department. So to sort by department, I need to specify that I also want to sort by column two. And because I've got two columns that I'm sorting by, I need to put those numbers in brace brackets, comma. Then the next argument is sort order. Now it's one for ascending and minus one for descending. I want both columns to be sorted in ascending order. So again, in brace brackets, I type one, comma, one, close the brace bracket, press enter. And now I have both columns sorted in ascending order, department sorted within area. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you next video.